Happy birthday to you. sister and this here's the hashtag sister squad to become a member subscribe get notified and make sure that you don't leave without commenting because that's what we do around here and that's on per it's my birthday and i'll dance if i want to and uh, and uh, and uh. i can't sing the actual lyrics because they don't correspond with my lifestyle so <laughs> anyway guys it's my birthday it's the hashtag worthy 30 season it has started officially i'm super excited i'm feeling blessed i'm feeling loved i'm feeling honored i'm feeling overwhelmed with gratitude i'm feeling overwhelmed with love the messages are pouring in and yeah surrounded by everyone that i love i was with my nieces and nephew and my baby this morning they all went with me to my lash appointment at vm beauty guys the way i'm not so used to doing lashes i feel like it's so dramatic i feel like it's too much but the more that i look at myself i actually really do love them because i know you guys actually do more this is like a very understated one apparently because magan combi volume volume was like a drama but yeah did them at vm beauty and yeah i'm not doing any makeup because my best friend booked me a spa date you guys literally the gift of my 30s new mom dream the one thing that i need is rest the one thing that i need is relaxation haven't relaxed since i became a mom rest is something that is very very scarce the rest is something that's dictated by someone else being gazi bear so to have an opportunity to rest even if it's just a couple hours or just a couple of treatments it's the best gift i could have ever asked for like literally she said um cozy i know um there's a lot of things that you want <laughs> but i think the one thing that you need is rest so i'm booking your spa date while they treat you i'm gonna be taking care of the baby so you don't have to worry about a thing don't organize a babysitter or whatever i'll take care of the baby while you get your things done while you sleep you relax you get pampered and i could not be more excited and more thankful so much for my friend guys Sierra's prayer for marriage or men prayer for friendship because i clearly hit the friendship jackpot she is god sent anyway it is almost time for my appointment i still need to drop off my kids um back to their house and then i will head to my spa date i'm sure now she's almost there so let's not waste any time let's get going hashtag worthy 30 i'm worthy today of relaxation <laughs> I move. Mm -hmm. Question, but then look at the 
crianza We are now at Rustic Boutique Hotel for my official lunch. Um, I love Elveston, but I cannot with their food sometimes. So for my birthday, we had to come all the way here. I feel so relaxed, you guys. My massage was everything I needed and more. The actual therapist was like, you are so tense. You are so I could literally feel the knots being released as she massaged. Like, Guys, I was so tense. You don't realize how tense you are until you get a massage. And I was like, oh my goodness, I needed that more than anything in the world, more than any present. That is exactly what I needed. So now we're having lunch at Rustique. Um, we're just outside taking some pictures and then we'll sit and dine and yeah, enjoy my birthday. I don't even know if the angle is okay, but yeah. So today it's Benice's birthday and I just want to say happy birthday to her hopefully she'll see this video and maybe post it in a vlog because i don't have a lot of people so and i wanted to make it public um i wanted to make it known that uh, benice is the best thing that has ever happened to me when it comes to friends i am so blessed and so lucky to have her in my life Whew. but me ugly crying so I just want to say happy birthday friend um, i'm wishing you all the best may the goodness of the lord follow you all the days of your life may god really grant you your heart desires you are the most selfish the most loving the most considerate person friend sister i've ever had and i am so lucky to spend this day with you and guys is lucky to call you mom and we just all appreciate you so much and i pray to god that we show you every day because you really deserve to know how much you are loved and how much you are appreciated so yeah happy birthday friend i love you so much yeah yeah my mind yeah yeah my mind i ain't got a clue bro i said five in the morning I wake up to five on my yearnings Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying on Fear in my mind is a <laughs> guys this concludes the most perfect day i couldn't have asked for a better birthday i literally got what i want thank you mm. friend thank welcome, you so darling. much like such a chilled relax day like, i have not been mama be the whole day i've just been 30 year old sexy and you sexy teenage b <laughs> so we're literally about to pay our bill and head home and slice my little cake and call it a night. I enjoyed my day. I hope you enjoyed watching me, but we will talk a little bit more when I get home. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Say hooray! Got the beard. Oh, this looks so good. Ooh, it's so yummy. Mm. Mm, actually. Hi, my darlings. It is the next day. I'm enjoying my life. I feel like I'm a I feel like I'm a papa. Which is true. I am a bit forward, but like not in this way. And this is giving some other kind of papa, but like. <laughs> It's okay. Anyway, guys, yo, I had the most wholesome birthday 
literally the best day let me just share a little bit um on how i ended up celebrating my my birthday the way that i ended up celebrating my birthday it's not that deep but i think it's a, a conversation worth having so um obviously um i turned 30 have you seen that with 30 have it so um it's giving zahara because it's am young cinder am young cinder oh my goodness anyway so obviously turning 30 it's a milestone age it's a big age third floor there's this like pressure to celebrate big right to do big things people you normally when they celebrate milestone birthdays especially in our age of social media and whatnot they go all out photo shoots dinners whatnot like you know especially mind your footy guys or when you're so too much but yeah that there was that little bit of pressure to like celebrate big which i still actually do want to do but like not in the typical sense i do want to celebrate with my loved ones my closest friends my closest family and just have cake and whatever like i still want to to, to do that because yesterday obviously i was only with my best friend it's not fair on everyone else that i love right but so we had our sister sessions pajama party a week ago right and during our conversation at around the table towards the end of the night like i said in the that vlog Oguti, we had like a deep conversation so we ended up talking about social media and the pressures of social media and how much we are influenced and dictated by social media even sometimes subconsciously we don't realize that we are influenced by it even though we are heavily influenced by it we talked about how there's this pressure now if you don't have that luella bag or a steve madden sneaker or a galax boy shade or you know there's this like pressure we see there's certain things that you have to have and they trend and then among and now it's like you know and so we end up feeling small for things that we don't even genuinely like you know so good to when you don't even like i'm a frontal and i'm a frontal are trending right now now you feel the pressure to own a frontal and get an installation even though it's not your thing like for me for instance i'm gonna make example with myself practical example I kept saying, no, I'm going to get an installation for my birthday. I'm going to do a professional install in, 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 and I want to look good in, in. But deep down, I know that I'm a braids girl through and through. And anyone who's been watching me from day one knows I love me some braids. I feel gorgeous in braids. I feel pretty in braids. They are low maintenance for me. I just love them. I love everything about braids. So why did I feel this pressure to now get an install? Because I felt like I need to look hot so I can take a fire picture so I can post, you know, again that's honestly that's me being honest right now that's why i wanted to do a frontal and there's nothing wrong with a frontal or wanting a frontal if you don't have one right now but if you know that you prefer braids or you prefer your afro you prefer your short hair you shouldn't be pressured into doing something just because that's what's hot right now on social media you shouldn't you should be able to do your braids and still feel as beautiful nothing wrong with a frontal a frontal weave Ooh, it's very very beautiful it's a very beautiful beautiful way to do your hair and it looks so good and it does look put together and sexy and hot and rich but if that's not what i prefer then i should be able to stand firm and say this is what i prefer this is these are my inches these this is what i prefer the edges is what i prefer even though i haven't done them today or yesterday well i did do them yesterday they got ruined by my spa treatment because you know i was like um with my head down but yeah like i've that conversation that we had lingers. I remember when we were done talking, Palisa said to us, guys, from now on, all of us who are active on social media, let's ask ourselves, do we really want to buy this thing? Do you really want to go there? Do you really want to wear that? Do you really want to do this? Or is it because it's postable? Is it because you want to post it? Is it because you want to look relevant or you want likes? Think about that before you do something. And this is not disputing any of the things that I mentioned. Zonkeles does you on, zonkeles does you say, yes, it's worth it. It's nice. If you can afford it and you like it, go ahead. But make sure that in this age of influence, in this age of liking things, in the in this age of posting, we are still able to enjoy our lives in the most genuine way possible. So yeah, that brings me back to my birthday. But Lisa, uh, for the like past, we've been friends for now, maybe eight years now um she's never never ever known what to buy me never she's always asked me friend of nine for your birthday every single year guys if she doesn't know or i don't know she's like hey, this is how much i was willing to spend on you nah i'm sending it to you you figure out what you want 
that that's been the case for most of our friendship but this year she was like friend. she was like friend i think i know what i want to get you in fact i feel like you need it i was like what are you thinking she's like you need rest i was like girl you know me better than i know myself she's like i was thinking of all the things that you could use right now and the only thing i can conclude is like you need rest and i was like you are so on point she said you need to be massaged you need to be taken care of without worrying about the baby and that's exactly what i'm gonna get you so guys she booked me a spa treatment while she took care of my baby after the spa treatment we went to lunch it was all on her and even the whole time during lunch she was the one taking care of my baby yesterday like i did not feel the whole mommy thing like obviously my child being my child if i'm around he's gonna want to breastfeed he's gonna want my attention but I, I went home feeling rested like i literally just like i was on cloud nine i need i was so tense oh my goodness the masseuse was like there's this um muscle tension gel that i would like for you to try unfortunately it's out of stock now but you need it that's how bad it was that's how bad it was and guys my child is heavy and being a mom is like a 24 7 job it does not stop so i it was very much expected for me to have tension and be tired so yeah hey she has this yesterday was just literally the perfect day and to spend it with one of the people that has like the, one of the biggest spaces in my heart it was so yeah for the first time in a long time yesterday i did not feel any social pressure I did not feel any influencer pressure. I didn't feel any pressure to shoot content or what. Obviously, I vlogged for you guys because you guys are special. But Instagram, I think I posted like two snaps, you know, and I moved on with my life. I barely looked at my phone. I was responding to all the best birthday messages just now before shooting this. So, yeah, I had such a breezy birthday. And I think this is going to be my theme going forward for Worthy 30. I'm going to embrace being myself embrace my preferences embrace my wants and likes more than ever you know the older you get you really do dislike a lot of things and yeah alcohol being one of them i don't drink anymore i started because i was pregnant and then i'm breastfeeding but generally i don't feel like there's a, a need for alcohol in my body or in my life so that's one of the things that have definitely fallen off the sparkling wine that we had yesterday non-alcoholic and that's the theme going forward so yeah in Jaloge, guys also introspect yourself do i really want that steve madden sneaker also people are saying it's uncomfortable do i really want a frontal do i know how to install a frontal am i gonna have to pay 400 every time i want to install <laughs> like think about those things guys before you put pressure on yourself you can still be beautiful with your braids you can still be beautiful with your afro you can still be beautiful with your outfit from yellow sub mr price and the likes if you can afford zara go ahead baby girl if you cannot do your thing my love whatever works for you whatever you can afford stay in your lane and enjoy it as we learned by in your lane it's very, very nice. The older I get, the more and more I want to just stay in my lane. And really, as in, I'm one of those girls. I'm Klub Mund. I, I don't have beef with anyone. I don't bother anyone. I don't compete with anyone. And it gets even more and more worse as I grow older. And I love it for me. And I wish it for you. So, yeah, I'm going to conclude this vlog here. I think this vlog is going to be one of the shortest we're going to see for Vlogtober. But, yeah, let's conclude it here, you guys. I think I've said a mouthful. I really enjoyed my birthday. And thank you so much. Yes, the messages that I were in my DMs, specifically from the sister squad, were so heartfelt, you guys. You're, you really make me feel special. You make me feel loved. You make me feel seen. And that is so important, especially as a content creator. Um, thank you for appreciating me and my content and being inspired by me and the way that I live my life. And I pray that God gives me more wisdom. Um, I was declaring the word of God today over my life. We're in the book of, I think it's Luke, it says, And Jesus grew in stature and wisdom, and he obtained favor with God and man. And if it's in the word, I can have it in my world. So I replaced Jesus. And so Bernice grew in stature and wisdom, and he and she and she received favor from god and with man and that is on per <laughs> on per i love you guys thank you so much don't forget to like comment subscribe if you watched all the way here might as well join my squad love you see you in the next one bye